Good morning, Arca family. Etienne from Field Club Education. In today's video, we'll be having a nice little discussion where I will just show you a couple of basic stuff that you can do with your 25 free hits in your attacking half. So it will be long corners and also just as soon as you're inside that 25 area, what you can do to manipulate the defenders to get easy into the circle. Uh, because as you know, the, the rule has to be the ball has to tra travel five and the players has to be five before playing. So um, just what you can do to try and manipulate the defenders to get easy access into the circle to get an opportunity to score or get a short corner. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to have a couple of discussions, a couple of examples that I have that I can show you. A lot of coaches will have different ways of getting into the circle from that specific areas but um, yeah I hope you enjoy this video and let's go if you have not subscribed yet please click that little icon in the bottom corner please like this video because it shows the support towards my channel thank you for all the support so far in this channel I really do appreciate it and enjoy the next video So with this long corner or 25 yard set pieces that you can do, it's obviously normally inside the attacking half um, as it. And then you as a coach, you can see what basically is happening in the attacking setup. You can use the exact same setup and then you can train your defenders as well in this regard. So you can do, if you do this for a training session, you'll basically cover both of them in a way so you your attackers will know what to do and your defenders will also know how to defend if teams do have similar ways of using these little set pieces um, so the basic one will start off with if player one passes to player two player two will make a little lead outside the circle and then player one will pass to them they can either Open receive into the circle, take a reverse stick or close receive into the circle and take a strong stick. That's a basic little one that you can use. The other one that you can use is when player number three, you pass a player number three and then in that regard, player number four, it's normally your outside back, will make lead into that space. Player three can then pass into that space where they can receive it and then they can drive the baseline into the circle <clears throat> you can do it this side as well so it's exactly the same they will just make a lead into that space and then you can pass into that area where they can drive the baseline to get into the circle so there's just ways that you can manipulate the defenders to get space into the circle but these are normally like a basic type of setup where you really don't know what to do um, and then, yeah, you just do these kind of basic little setups to get into the circle. So with setup parts that you can do, um, a little bit of different types of ways now would be um, more or less the same where you can get player two to move towards, but this ball has to be with pace. And then all the player two does is they just either touch the ball with a stick. So it's either inside tuck where the ball can go this way or this way so they just touched it into the circle so it's a nice little deflection that they make a lot of defenders a lot of the times you can catch a defender's foot just on top of the D doing that because a lot of defenders don't um, expect that so it's a nice little hard pass where they can just deflect the ball into areas into the circle hopefully if it gets past this defender there's attackers running onto it where they can just have an easy little shot onto 
the goal. The other one that you can do is you can actually have player three, as soon as player one steps onto it, player three shout at player one to step off. Player one can then step off into this, make sure that they five, and as soon as player three gets to the ball, they can pass to player one. Player one can receive. In this scenario, player two really can make a lead into that area if they want to and just have a nice little one-two passing for them to enter the circle. Or if player one received it and player five maybe made a little lead there, they can pass the ball to them and then they can have a nice little one-two passing as well. But this is also a nice little way to draw maybe a defender towards player one to make easy little space for player two. So the ball can go in from here to player two. So that is also one you can do that works quite often where you just step off to um, make players available and use the players to get into this circle with short corners or strikes. With another example uh, of a thing you can use, it's exactly the same in the previous one, but now it's just on the sideline and this will work quite well because you're going to see now how players will move and hopefully the defenders will follow them, making more space for whoever's on the ball and making more space for the people that's moving into that space they're making. So if it's on the sideline, it's exactly the same where player number four will tell player one to step off and then all the player one will do is they will move into player two's position. Player two will then hopefully move a little bit on the baseline into the circle with player three moving into different areas now. Doesn't matter where they go because they're making space now. And hopefully if a defender was there and a defender was there to mark them, hopefully with the shifting of the players, one of the defenders will go where they're not supposed to be making space somewhere um, <clears throat> so for example if it happens where this defender follows player number one and this defender follows player number two as soon as player four gets the ball there's no players in front and they can either run straight into the circle or they can find player number three so just by moving your players a little bit can open up space somewhere for you to get the ball in if it's not going according to plan and you can't get in there you can always just have a traditional one where you just pass it out and hopefully just go the other way. But if you can manipulate your players and then hopefully the defenders will get a little bit confused about it and then they will follow players that's not supposed to be followed and easy little access into the circle. So this is another example you can use. There's so many examples you can use for this, um, but hopefully just by moving your players into different areas and moving the ball quickly because you can also if you have a ball over here you can move five really quickly into the circle hopefully if a defender engage short corner but with these little examples that i gave you hopefully you can manipulate the defenders so that you can have easy access into the circle to get possible goal or short corners So that was the couple of examples that you can use to better get into the circle after you have a free hit inside the 25 area or a long corner. Um, just a couple of examples that you can use. Uh, I hope you can use this in your next training session and in your matches, especially it's such a great satisfying feel if one of those stuff that you practice actually works in a game. Um, but yeah. Thank you for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. Thank you for all the support so far on this channel. I really do appreciate it. See you next time. Bye-bye.